the no cloning theorem is just one of many different pieces of quantum computing, sort of like uh, the laws of quantum computing the same way that Asimov had laws of robotics. Okay. Right? This particular one, the no cloning theorem, means that if you have a quantum bit of information, All right. you can't just make as many copies of it as you'd like. You can't make copies. So gotcha. like us, we can digitize a photograph, right. taking little, little pixels, exactly. and then make each pixel exactly the same as another pixel Absolutely. on a hard drive right. or a USB stick or something, and then you get an exact copy of the previous picture. Absolutely. Right. No cloning theorem says that for quantum information, you can't do that. So anytime you have now, some and, and quantum... And why thing, wouldn't you be able to do that with a qubit as, as opposed to bits and bytes, which we're able to do right. it with? As soon as you read a qubit, uh, it is destroyed. That makes sense, because it existed in a superposition to begin with. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. so the, Go check. So the moment that Go you actually check. realize the superposition, all other positions are made null and void at that particular instant. 